Hello there, friends. Have you ever been in Blender and say you have a cube that you want a specific size? Say you want it 20 millimeters, right? This would be 20 millimeters, right? 0 0.02 meters. Well, if we go ahead and save this uh, as an STL, I'll put this in my 3D printing folder. I'll call this a 20 millimeter test cube. Go ahead and export this STL. What you'll notice is what you'll notice though is so now that we're in Cura, we press this button here to load up our file. We grab our 20 millimeter test cube, and it's huge. Why is it huge? And now it's like okay, auto scaled model to huge, a massive percentage. So you go in here, you try to change it yourself, click this button, and then you realize okay, it's you literally just can't see it at all. And yes, you can go in here and you can adjust this to 20. And now we would have a perfect cube. So that's one way to solve a problem, to manually enter the dimensions. But that's kind of annoying and you don't necessarily want to do this every time. Plus it tells you that your dimensions are messed up. So, all right, better solution. So the first thing we need to check is, so in Blender, let's check a few settings. So come over here to your scene properties open up this units and make sure you're set to metric check your unit scale to one then we're going to change our length make sure this is set on meters and then the only thing that we're going to change is we're simply going to think that every meter in blender is going to be one millimeter in Kira. so we're going to make this 20 meters and you know it's, that's huge well it's huge but this is just how 3d printing uh, processes of uh, 3D models that we make. So we need to think um, in terms of meters and not millimeters. So let's go ahead and apply the scale. Control A, press scale to apply the scale. And now everything's one, so we know we're good to go. So we go File, Export, STL. And I'm just going to save this over as the exact same one. It might be new dimensions. Okay, so check this out. Let's open Cura again. Okay, now that we're in Cura, we're going to simply open our file in our test cube. And just like that, it has the perfect dimensions. If we go over here, 20 millimeters. And you'll notice it fits perfectly in between these two because the grid inside of Kira is actually based on millimeters. So you can actually count uh, how many this is if you want. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 20. So each one of these grid squares are 10 by 10 millimeters. So that's how you do it. I hope that helped you. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments, and I'd love to answer them with another video. Thanks. Bye.